Hello everybody, how's it going today? That's good. I've been sitting here ready to push record for like a minute and a half and this big ass truck just decided to stop right here while the dude got out his phone and I'm like... <laughs> Alright, no seriously. One of the questions that came up when... I was doing that Poetic Anarchy Crash Course at Sims Library of Poetry. A question was, it was something along the lines of tell us about your first year as a poet or your first year writing or whatever. And I told a little story about it. Then today I was moving shit around and doing whatever I'm doing. And I found my um, first real poetry notebook. Like I have, and I probably, I think I've shown it before. I, I, in school, in junior high, I had to write a poetry book. Like that was like the project. And we had to like put it together and do all of our own art and all this other shit. And so I turned this thing in and they called my mom. <laughs> and um, I had to have a meeting with the principal, my teacher and my mom and they um, told my mom that they thought I was a Satanist and um, all sorts of other shit. Um, I did, I think it was on like some cringe something video I have. I don't fucking know. But I talked about it there. And so that was like me like writing poetry. And that was actually because of what the project was that was me writing formal poetry um and then after not too long after that is when I first started getting into bands and so I was writing lyrics for years before I started writing any of this but this is kind of like my first like serious poetry that I wrote and would end up getting published. And so this says right here, poems 1299. What does that say? Of, oh yeah, I have it crossed out. Of gothic horror. And then I'm like, well, I'm not just writing about gothic horror now. So I'll do other stuff. So um, the first one in here is a poem called The Boy in the Rain from December 5th and it's very it's it's in my Poe cycle for real um, and it's weird because like I didn't know exactly <clears throat> what I was doing like with the structure of everything um, but it rhymes and the whole thing yeah so and then on the 22nd I started writing more and I started writing a lot. <laughs> and um, yeah, all through December of 99, I was a machine. Oh, I'm finally in January now. Oh, I didn't realize I wrote that on the first. Oh, and I wrote that on the first. And I wrote that on the first, and that on the first. So the majority of this stuff I wrote between December and February. So that stuff there. And that's what would end up becoming... Actually, it was like my second collection, poetry collection. Oh, and then I have some other ones from December in here, too. Oh, did I write these in a different book? And so now I'm putting them back in here? I guess that's what happened. Oh, wow, yeah, I wrote a ton in December. So this right here is my first... Or my second collection. This right here is... Um, I guess would be the closest thing to, um, I don't know what you would call it, like prose, like it, it's a poem, but it goes on forever kind of thing, this many pages. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at all this stuff, man. This is getting some real shit. Oh my god, and then I was writing that. Oh man. Yeah, so there's this one story I've been wanting to tell 
since, I guess, 1999. And I've tried writing it a hundred different ways. And one of the ways I tried writing it was a poem. And <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. And then just, like, poems to chicks and stuff like that. As you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this goes through 2001 is the last thing in here so what is that september 15th 2001 which is crazy because that's just a couple days after the 11th and then the one before that is in march but at this time too i was in a band and so most of my writing was lyrics for the band and um, during this time too we were recording our album which ended up being the untimely death of Spade 13 that you could check out on YouTube music or Spotify or whatever. This kind of dark, gloomy, in the class thing, I think I called it um, romantic poems to corpses. I don't know, should I read one of these? Yeah, I guess I'll read them. This is the first one I wrote, um, The Boy in the Rain. And this one, um, the image of this was so fucking surreal. Um, and I think this was a dream. But yeah, it's really hokey rhyme kind of shit. And probably, I'm going to guess that a lot of the rhymes don't actually work. So, The Boy in the Rain. Oh, sorry. Now, now you can hear me better. The Boy in the Rain. On a night dark and stormy, in my bed, cold and lonely, there was a noise which awoke me from out in the rain. I rose from my bed, began to walk, nerves and fears in my mind's thought. From outside, I heard someone talk. The voice drove me insane. Out the window, I looked in my fit. I saw a boy run and skip. From his face, blood it dripped, yet he had no pain. His laughter rang out so loud, bouncing off the darkest clouds. Lightning struck and I ducked down, but the boy he saw me playing. He stopped playing his little games, and to my window he quickly came. My screams I could not refrain, refrain and I quickly hid. For some time I heard no sound, yet my heart still quickly pound. My face couldn't break its frown, but look out the window I did. About an inch from my eyes, in the rain to my surprise, was the boy, he had no eyes, his face still dripped of blood. He screamed and, f or I screamed and fell as I jumped back, feeling I was under attack, but still the boy, the boy just sat, sat there in the mud. Gashes down his face so wide, as if there are tears in which he cried, with deep dark holes instead of eyes, I screamed, go away. When I yelled, I clenched my fist, nausea from my stomach pit, but a smile upon his lips. He said, come out and play. I stood up and I yelled no, and, the, and then the boy, he vanished fro. A trail upon the ground from his blood flow went across the street. Out my window I had looked, a good deep breath I finally took, but then my whole body shook when I heard a dying woman shriek. He has killed the woman across the road. She wasn't very old. It's my fault. Go away, he was told. Now he's running next door. I heard yet another person yell. I heard their body as it fell. I cannot stand this hell. My heart now was so sore. I jumped up and ran outside, hoping that I would find the boy who had committed the crimes of this passing day. When he saw me, the boy he squealed, his eyeless, bloody face had zeal. My fate I knew that I had sealed when I said, all right, let's play. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, so that was the first serious poem I wrote. And again... I just wrote it. Like, there wasn't revisions to that. I sat down and wrote. And that's kind of how it's always been, I guess. Um, and, like, when I look at that, 
because of how the way things should go when you are writing informal poetry. Like, there's some things that I'm like, uh, I don't think that works quite well. And, um, again, I don't like that because to me, when you write, it's, and when you create, it's like you do it and then that's that. So that was the thing that I ended up with. But yeah, so, um, yeah, that, the book of that, the, the collection that that was in it came out in, I want to say 2006, 2005 or 2006, the like book length poem that I wrote was called The Legend of Cartwain Twain. <clears throat> and that one came out before that collection. Yeah, that couldn't have come out before 2005. So if Cartwain Twain came out like at the beginning of 2005, then the collection that that was in, which I think was called Gothic Romance. Let me try to remember the name of it. Gothic Romance, Depression, Murder, and Suicide, I think is what that was called. But then there was <clears throat> also another collection that had the Cartwain Twain story poem and all of the little poems in there too that came out like in subsequent years. But, um, and I have released those under Creep Creepers in. Um, that's what it originally came out under. And then I put them out as well under a pen name, Alan Edwards. Because back when um, I was starting my publishing company, um, Gold Metal Faucet, I wanted it to look bigger than it was. So every genre I wrote in, I had a different pen name. So it looked like there were like 20 writers in the um, catalog. And that was a fucking stupid idea. I do not recommend doing that. But what I will read you is the poem, because I just realized this. Because in that thing, too, I was talking about how I got a poem accepted and I won some fucking award for it. And then I thought it was bullshit and I told everyone to fuck off and die and all that shit. So, um, yeah, here it is. And this was under my real name when it was originally published. But it's called Elza. And this is before Frozen, guys. So um, give me a little bit of fucking credit there. So yeah, this was written on January 1st of 2000. The day I found you, I won't forget. That was the day she became my pet. Oh wait, no, sorry, I already fucked up. The day I found her, I won't forget. That was the day she became my pet. Her eyes were beautiful blue. Her skin was a cadaverous hue. Her lips were red as fresh blood. Her hair, a ravenous black flood. She was tightly wrapped in cloth of white, then a long flowing gown, a beautiful sight. I had her lay and sleep with me, and when I awoke, her presence was seen. I kissed her lips, put her under lock and key, for her love was only for me. And when I returned from where I'd been, into my arms she came within. One day, though, I lost my way home, and now my maiden is locked down alone. I may never find my way back there. She may in her captivity run out of air. She all alone, trapped in that crate. I fear she is dead. I fear I'm too late. Now that poem um, also was published in Strange Romance. Yeah, it was published in um, this really beautiful zine called Strange Romance. I'm sure I've shown it to you guys before. I don't know where it is. It's in a box somewhere. But anyway, so, and then that was published, that wasn't that long ago, like maybe 2016, that got published. Someone wanted, like, some gothic shit, and I sent them some stuff. But anyway, so that's kind of the shit that I was working on when I was serious about my writing. But again, back in the late 90s and early 2000s, 
there weren't self-publishing options like there are now. So the fact that I wrote those and then they didn't actually come out until fucking like 2005, 2006, like that was probably like, oh wow, this is so fast. <laughs> and now it's like I could shit a poem out and have it up online before I even finish this fucking video. So whatever. So that is a closer look at my um, first actual stab at writing poetry. So hopefully this was fun for you guys. It was kind of silly, but um, it's kind of neat going back and like looking at shit like that. So until next time, folks, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my God. Last chance. Um, it's my uh, chat book about last chance gas stations. It's up on my Etsy shop right now. Blood Rag, also up on my Etsy shop right now. Preview of a Dangerous Mine, Los Angeles. Get them while they're hot because um, they won't be there forever. And um, yeah, so just keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.